first thing we want to do to make sure that you are in a good position not to slice the ball is to have a good grip. As far as the grip is concerned, it's very, very important to get the heel of the hand all the way on top of the golf club so that you cover up the club from the camera's point of view. You don't want to be seeing the grip. You want to see two knuckles and your left thumb hangs down just to the right of center. As far as the right hand is concerned, you put the, the right hand on the golf club. You want to make sure that the V of your, of your right hand is just inside your right shoulder. You spread your index finger away from the middle finger so you have a trigger finger, and your right thumb is just to the left of center. So if your left thumb is just to the right and your right thumb is just to the left, that's what gives you a balanced grip. Remember that the grip, the, it's an opposite with the grip. The more my hands are turned too far left, the more the ball curves to the right. So if you're having trouble slicing, make sure your left hand's on top and make sure your V is not pointing to your left shoulder. Couple things that you can check from the down the line view. Keep in mind that what's causing a slice is the face is open to the path. So what we want to do is we want to make sure halfway back the, that the top edge of the golf club is at least pointing straight up, if not slightly closed, especially if your tendency is to swing a little flatter, you'll be slightly more closed than if you're swinging more upright. And the idea is, is that to, to have it square here, feel that the right hand is underneath the golf club at the top, and what's really important is when the club is halfway down at the third parallel, that the club is towed in slightly, and then as you're coming through, you just want to feel that the toe of the club is gently passing the heel to help you square up the club face. And you can also get your hips involved with this. You can feel that as your hips are turning, the club face is squaring. Here's what it looks like if you do it correctly. That ball had a nice little draw on it. So try to feel as though the club face is, is staying square to your circle throughout your golf swing and let the circle square up the golf club for you. You shouldn't have to do a lot of extra rotation with your arms if you're swinging the club properly.